you ready for the quiz answers? Here we go. Question one. The question was, you've heard of CAM in Meet the Listener, but what does CAM stand for? It was C, Crashulation Acid Metabolism. Of course. Question two asked about Anders Roenberg's other job as a professional what? And the answer was, of course, a professional sexologist. Question three asked about lithops and the number one pest as described by expert Brian Fern. And the answer was the unforgettable baboons. That was answer C. Question four asked about a species that's both edible and a houseplant. And the answer was C, Oxalis triangularis, also known as the false leaf shamrock. Question five asked about Tyler Thrasher and his work of fiction, which was, of course, about A, a botanist. Question six. I hope you got this one right. My book is, of course, called Legends of the Leaf. B. Question seven. The technique for propagating peperomias is, of course, the hummus pot technique. That was answer C. And question eight. It was a tough one. Calathea, most of the species in this genus have been moved to another genus called Gapertia. So did you know how to spell that? It's G-O-E-P-P-E-R-T-I-A. So two points if you got that phonetically correct and you also got the spelling right. One point if you just got the essence of it, but you didn't spell it correctly. Question nine asked about names for the show and specifically which name did my husband come up with for On The Ledge? And the answer was A, Sage Against the Washing Machine, which was, of course, a reference to Rage Against the Machine, the popular beat combo. Question 10 asked about something that Crassula ovata, Pachyra aquatica and Pilea peperomioides all have in common. And that was, of course, that they're all commonly known as the money plant. Question 11 asked about those irritating spines on your opuntia or bunny ears, which are, of course, known as glockids. That was answer C. And finally, did you know what kind of dog Wolfie is? Well, he's two things at the same time. So he's a lurcher, but more specifically than that, he is a beddy whippet, which means he's a cross between a Bedlington Terrier and a whippet. He probably has some greyhound thrown in as well, to be totally honest, but we're not really sure because we didn't have him from a puppy. But I'll accept either of those answers, but you do get a bonus point if you got both of those right. So how did you score? Did you get all 14 points? If you did, or if you got anywhere from 10 to 14 points, I think you can consider yourself an OG on the ledge listener. You really know your planty and podcast stuff. If you got between 5 and 10, it's a rock solid score. Well done. And if you scored between naught and five, well, you might well be a newbie, but welcome to On The Ledge. Keep listening and you're sure to learn loads more. Thanks very much for listening this year and I will speak to you soon. Bye. The music you heard in this episode was Roll Jordan Roll by The Joy Drops, licensed under Creative Commons. Visit janeperone.com for details.